Josephine, and I did my presentation on um, Thomas Gallaudet. I think that's how you say his name. Um, he was born the 10th of December, 1787, and he grew up in, like, his background was very strong Protestant background, um, and so that's kind of what he wanted to do when he grew up. He wanted to become an ordained minister and kind of, like, work for the church and stuff. <clears throat> so he went to school really young. He started Yale, I think, at age 14 or 15. Um, and when he graduated, and he became an ordained minister at age 27. Like, he, he also got a degree in art. Um, but, so he was a very educated man. Like, he'd been in the school for um, quite a long time. and But he was also very compassionate. And he had a strong desire to help those that, I guess, couldn't really help themselves. And um, he had a strong emphasis in helping um, people that couldn't hear. So the deaf community. Um, and he met a man called Dr. Cogswell, Cogswell. And Dr. Cogswell had a um, daughter who, when she was very young, suffered from a really high and prolonged fever, which took her hearing. And um, when he met her, he realized that she was smart and he could see how she would interact with other people. And he thought, um, he thought that, that she should have a way of gaining an education and learning because like through her ailment so like despite the fact that she had this ailment she should be able to um learn like the rest of like other children and so he um Dr. Coswell asked him if he would go and find ways that um these types of like deaf people could learn and so um Thomas Colladet, he started learning sign language and he traveled to Europe at his on his own expense to um, discover kind of new methods of teaching um, people that are deaf and he hit some snags, it wasn't easy um, so I think the, a big group of people that he met that could have taught him didn't want to teach him if they weren't going to be paid and um, he was running out of money Eventually, I think he found somebody to help him in France, and he brought a French apprentice, apprentice over with him to help him teach and develop a school to that could teach um, deaf children. And he was the founder of the first American um, school for the deaf. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I really like Thomas Gallaudet. When I first like got him as my um, giant I was like this doesn't relate to me like I'm not deaf <laughs> I don't know anybody that's deaf like he's not that inspiring to me but then I realized reading through his biographies just how difficult it was for him to learn these things and he didn't really have any like it wasn't close to home for him he just met this Dr. Cogswell yet he went above and beyond for his for future deaf students um and tried his hardest to learn all that he could learn so that he could teach all that he could teach to the students and without him they it would have been a very long time before deaf students would have had a way of learning like regular students um one of his, his one of his students actually um he fell in love with and after she graduated they were married and went on to have eight children and I think that eldest two of his children also went on to help um, advance, like the deaf community, the deaf community, um, and the way that they learn. Um, I think his eldest son um, founded another really famous school for the deaf, and so <clears throat> he set off a, like a trend or a prosperity of prosperity of education for those that can't educate themselves or have a particular ailment that needs help and I think that's that's really great because in our classes um, we might have students that might not be deaf but they have another ailment or they're maybe a problem child and it's because something is wrong with them or they need a little, little extra help and I think Thomas Gallaudet is inspiring because he went above and beyond as we should go above and beyond for our students and learn all we
can learn about their problems and their needs so that we can cater to those needs and to those problems. And I thought, yeah, he was a great contributor to education and he is someone to be looked at and admired. <clears throat> um, and there was a quote that he, let me find it. Um, all of the children of silence must be taught to sing their own song. And I thought that we could relate that to our students, our future students, that everyone learns a different way and everyone needs to be taught in the way that they will learn. So, like, we need to teach our students with their, and so that they can sing their song. Um, not just if they're deaf, but any kind of ailment that they have or any need that they have, we have to teach them their way or a way that benefits them. And yeah, he was, I'm really glad that I got Thomas Gallaudet. He is very inspiring. Go above and beyond for your students. Okay, bye. <laughs>